A Utah family says justice was not served today as the man who murdered their teenage son was sentenced to at least 18 years in prison. Yeah, that teen was killed at a graduation party in 2021. New Special Sheriff Park was at today's sentencing and joins us live right now. Sheriff, walk us through what exactly happened. Okay, Mike and Dini. Well, the victim's family wanted to see all the charges that Anthony Rendon were convicted of run one after the other. So totaling up to 48 years in prison. But instead, today, the judge sentenced him to 15 years to life for the murder and then three to five years for one of the 11 weapon offensive offenses. The other 10 will run concurrent. After that, which is 18 years, adult probation and parole will decide the rest of Rendon's future. Now, Rendon was sentenced today for the murder of 19-year-old Kelly Kelly, Glubins, uh, Kelly Glubins, Glubinsky, who was shot and killed at a graduation party in South Jordan in 2021. Rendon claimed that the shooting was self-defense, and after a fight broke out, he and his friends returned to the party in a vehicle, and the fighting continued. Rendon fired 13 shots from the car at that time, and as a result, Kelly was shot and killed. Today, Rendon apologized to Kelly's family, saying that he regrets his actions that night. The judge then addressed him. I want to ask for, from the bottom of my heart for forgiveness for Kelly and his family and friends. I also want to let the Galbenzway family know I'm truly sorry for the loss. And 13 shots with hollow point bullets is, is very lucky that you did not have more than one death because of that conduct. Kelly's family and friends filled the courtroom today wearing t-shirts with his photo. Several of them, including his father and mother, gave impact statements saying the trauma from the shooting and his death has severely impacted their lives, filling it with sadness and anxiety. They described Kelly as a light with a bright future ahead of him and say today's sentence did not give them closure or justice that they deserve. No, no justice. In my mind, it wasn't served today. As far as I'm concerned, Utah's a state where you can murder people and do a minimum amount of time and get away with it. This isn't something that's over for us. This is just another hurdle we've made it through o over. Um, and we still have a lot more to do. And we have a lot of healing to do that is a lifetime for us. Brendan's attorney told the court that they plan to appeal this case. Kelly's family says they know this isn't over and they will continue to fight for justice for their son. In Salt Lake City, Share Park, KSL 5 News. All right, we'll continue and follow it. Share, thank you.